Hi, this is Happy Bird from happybirdsglitternest.blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this sweet little angel ornament and she was so easy to put together and she uses just the simplest of materials so she costs very little to make and um, I would like to invite you to my friend Elaine's Facebook page called the Sister Syndicate. It's a wonderful little group and she encourages crafters of all skill levels to share their crafts on her page. She has a lot of little things like this and a lot of cute little angels and um, she does card making, jewelry making, all kinds of things. So I'll post Elaine's link in the show more drop down bar below as well as on my blog. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with that said, I'll show you how I put this little angel together. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need some two and a half inch wide wire ribbon and make sure it's sheer. And um, you're going to want the type with a narrow edge. Now in the past I've used ribbon with the wide edge like this, but honestly this project will work better with a narrow edge. Okay. So what I did is I cut um, three pieces of three inch long uh, ribbon. Okay. Off like this. Now we're going to take and push this fabric back and see the little wires? Just going to pull it right out, just like that, on all the sides, on all three pieces of the wire ribbon. Because we really don't need this, it'll just be in the way, it'll be poking out of the sides as we try to work with these pieces. Now, although we cut these to be three inches long, this direction, we're going to turn it this direction, okay? And I'm just going to make sure everything's even at the bottom. That's the most important part. The top we can trim up afterwards. But we want the bottom to be even, like so, or fairly even. And I might just take it and trim it up a little bit. Not much though. Okay. Alright. And I'm still holding it together like this. I'm going to start in the middle and cut this section off because we want a point in the middle uh, that looks kind of like a flag. And I want to make it a little more pointy, so I'm going to come in and shave a little more off here on this side. And then turn this around and, and do the same until we have a fairly nice point. And so when you're finished, it looks like we have three little um, flags like that. All right, And it doesn't have to be super perfect because we're going to put everything together and gather it up. Alright, so what I like to do is um, just lay them out like this and we'll actually place two of them like, like this, touching each other. Alright, and then the third piece in the middle, I'm going to put a tiny dinky dot of hot glue on both corners and that's only because I'm going to set this down on top of the other two just to tack it All right you don't want it to be something permanent it's just to tack it temporarily so you can work with this as a whole piece instead of three separate pieces. Okay? Alright. So 
So I'm going to make sure this is tacked well. <laughs> Blow on it. Alright. So working with this as an entire piece, I'm going to fold this in half. Okay. Then I'm going to take one side and just kind of um, fold it like this, fan fold it a couple of times, place it on the side, doesn't have to be perfect, and hold this and then do the same thing on this one. Kind of fan fold this a couple of times and then that way you can gather everything at the top and you have the front of the dress, you can see the front already. All right. So then what I like to do next is come in with a piece of tensile stem and just kind of gather this. And I give it a couple of twists, just enough to hold it. And then I come back in and I put my fingers a little closer to the, um, to the edge here of the pipe cleaner and give it a couple more really good twists. Alright. And then I cut this off right here and fold this down. And then I like to come in with my flat nose pliers and push everything with these pliers tightly a little at a time here. Make sure it's nice and flat, nice and tight. Okay, so then we have the front part of our dress, little angel's dress. And at the top here, you can trim this up. You can um, do like that and I'm not going to worry about this sticking up because so we're going to be hot gluing the head on here and so we want to make it nice and even all right now for the head I just took one of these little acrylic pearls like this and then I took, oh, you know what, let me measure this. These pearls are about, I would say about 14 millimeter. Okay. And hold on for a moment, I need another piece of tensile stem. I thought I'd put a second one out here, but I guess not. All right. Now, with this, we're just going to slide this through. And what I like to do is I just take my little marker pen, just wrap it around fairly tight like so. So it kind of gives me gives me a circle to work with. And then I just twist this like so to make sure it's hooked. And I kind of push this back a little bit sit kind of at the back of the head and down here I make like a little um, loop or a little circle loop <laughs> and I only do it once I, I make this look um, kind of like a, a collar you know on the angel's head just like that all right so I'm going to set this aside and the silver, the tensils, um, the silver tensile that I'm using, ah, get my words straight today, 
it's kind of dark in this camera, but it's not. It's real shiny silver, and it's very pretty. For some reason, silver has um, trouble showing up on camera without it being dark or, or looking dark. I just that's just what I've noticed. Okay. Now the next piece we're going to do before we put this together is a piece. We're going to need to cut a piece of the wired ribbon at six and a half inches long. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing on this piece. Take the wire ribbon or the wire out of the ribbon and do this on both sides. I don't know what is with me. I can't seem to get my words straight this morning. Okay. Just going to put a tiny dot here and here. Just enough to tack this down like that. Just enough to tack it down so we can work with it. This will be in the back part and you won't notice it by the time we're done with it. Okay. Make sure this is cool before I start working with it. And so it looks like that right now. I'm just going to lay this flat. And you can kind of see a slight line. This will be the back of where the middle is. So that really is helpful. And what I'm going to do is fold this in half and fan fold this up once, hold it, do the same thing, fan fold this up once. And you can kind of see where the middle is from there. Put your little pipe cleaner on here, give it a twist just to hold it, then come back in and push your fingers up a little closer and twist it a couple more times. Cut this off, push the rest down, come back in with the flat nose pliers and squeeze this tightly, make it flat. If you want to, you can come in like with an end of a paintbrush or a pen or something like that and just kind of fluff it out a little on each side. It's like, it's like so. All right, and so first thing we're going to do is we're going to glue these wings onto the dress and we're going to make sure that the wings that we made and the dress are almost even with each other but not quite. We're going to put the dress down slightly lower but not that much lower. It's going to look fairly even at the top. All right. So we've got quite a bit of this hot glue right here in front and put this right here like so and I'm going to make sure this is cool I'll blow on it to kind of help it along Okay, then what we're going to do next is, you can see on the dress at the top there where we trimmed it off, <laughs> still a little warm, 
um, we're going to put the head on there. Good grief. I did put quite a bit on there. And with the head, you're going to use a pretty good amount right here on the head at the bottom. And then you're going to set this right on top. You're going to have to hold this for a few seconds until it grabs. And you'll start to feel it grab as it dries. nice and dry. The glue? Okay. Alrighty. So this is what we have so far. And you can adjust this little, the little halo. Alright. So the next thing I did was that, well, I'm going to put some kind of little embellishment on the front. You can put anything you want. I bought these little tiny snowflakes a little while back. It has little tinky tiny rhinestones in it. And I'm going to put a little bit of the Gorilla Glue hot glue on here. And maybe just put this in the front like that. Like, like so. And you can adjust the little dress if you want by poking it like that, poking it out. If you want, you could put a little pearl necklace there. Anything that you want, any way you'd like to decorate her. So, the last thing is um, you're going to need to take a piece of um, beading cord and just tie it around the halo because she's so lightweight you can hang this by tying a little piece of bead cord around the halo or um, you can use the upholstery thread like I showed you the white upholstery thread that would be real delicate and it'll be strong enough definitely strong enough to um, hold the angel so I'll go ahead and um, grab some beading cord and we'll put her together Okay, so I decided to use the white upholstery thread, and I bought this in the same section at Walmart is, is where they sell the regular thread, and it's real strong, so it's not going to break. And I'm just going to make a little loop here, like that, ahead of time, and then just slip it right over the, um, the halo. You don't want to put it around the neck. If you put it around the neck, most likely this angel will be facing downwards when it's hanging on your Christmas tree. So we're going to put the loop right here on the halo. And we're going to tie this. A couple of overhand knots. If you want to, you can put a little bit of clear glue on the knots. I'm making a mess of these knots. <laughs> okay. It's a little better, but not quite. Okay, there we go. And then I'll cut this off. Like so. So let me um, pull up the camera a little bit. And there she is. I think she turned out really cute. 
and it should be easy to put together. Just takes a little time. Yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this project. Now I used the two and a half inch wide ribbon, as you knew. Um, I mean, as you know. <laughs> I don't know what's with me. I can't get my words out today. But I wanted to show you I used the exact same method on this one. This one is um, one and a half inches, but it's different. It's not the sheer ribbon. It's full on glitter, and the ribbon here is very stiff. And this is how this angel came out. I didn't put any decoration on her yet in the front, but I just wanted to show you how it came out. It turned out nice, but it was a little more difficult, I thought, to work with simply because of the stiffness of it. So I would recommend, if you're going to be making these, to make them out of the sheer ribbon. It just seems to be a little easier. So God bless each and every one of you, and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And God bless each and every one of you, and have a very, very Merry Christmas.